Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? So, um, just a heads up, I may be taking, um, a small little break. I love y'all, I know I don't have to explain myself to y'all, I also know y'all don't have to explain yourself to nobody either, always remember that. It's a choice we make, alright? But I love the people, so I like to, you know, and then I have blessings that I would love to share, testimony, okay, so, my oldest son is on the way home. Mm -hmm. Tonight, on the way home, you know my man child, Gabriel? He's on the way home. Praise God. Um, so, you know, and hopefully this serves as maybe our story can help somebody that's going through it too with their family. So, Gabriel is my oldest, all right? And it wasn't always the easiest road for him. And, um, yeah, but the Lord is just, he is faithful. And, you know, um, yeah. I'm just excited to have him home. He's going to be 18 next year. So I just, you know, um, and I remember I prayed. I was like, God, I can't get back any of those years, any of those years. And then, you know, I was worried because I was like, how am I going to make it to his graduation? And when I go to his graduation, I'm going to have to deal with the turmoil that's always been in that situation. You know what I mean? No. God's been good. God's been good. And he will continue to be good. And I'm just, I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, so Gabriel's on the way home. Goal is I uh, help him finish out school, get get himself situated before he steps off into adulthood. And, and yeah, he he can Gabe. If you see this, see that over there, that guitar. Yeah, I do want to tune that, please. <laughs> He's a guitarist, and I. But I'm so proud of that child. It is rough on him because he does miss his friends naturally. I understand and. Yeah, so, but yeah, he's on the way home, and then last night I had to uh, go to my daughter's uh, cheer camp thing, uh, to go to her little cheer thing that she did. So proud of her, so proud of her. Bella's good for it to be a cheerleader. All right, let's see, what are we doing? Lord Jesus, what would you like to be ready right now? What's a good little Bible verse you'd like to uh, send them away with, Lord Jesus? An encouraging Bible verse. All right, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So when you feel oppressed, um, what I register when it says poor in spirit, <clears throat> maybe you're struggling with your uh, your spirit, your your faith. Maybe there's a lot of long suffering, a lot of um. It just don't seem fair. You know, we do have to learn we're not a victim. We cannot hold the victim mentality. If we hold the victim mentality, it can be a downfall for, fall for us and we won't progress. So it's, it's best to try to figure out how to not hold a mentality of victim, even when you know that you're legitimately being done wrong. You know, because all it's going to create is turmoil. I promise you, I know. All right. And we don't want to live our life angry. We don't want to live our life bitter. You know, we want to get along with people. Even if those people don't care to get along with us, but there's a balance between standing your ground, you know. So, um, discernment and using it wisely. And I'm not going to say I'm the best at this. Um, to the contrary, I am not. That is something that God is teaching me how to uh, just, oof, you know. But, um, <clears throat> but you can rest assured that the kingdom of heaven is yours and there's a lot more to it. But, you know, so if you kind of feel beat down in spirit, like, you know, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Because I'm not getting all these blessings that you feel. But maybe you feel like you're doing something wrong or that, you know, like things just aren't going right. And maybe you're, maybe you're not even a Christian. You know, I've had those thoughts. It's a lie from the enemy. This is Jesus just reassuring you that, yeah, yours is, the kingdom of heaven is yours. All right, and then where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So let's pray right now, okay? So 
there is a part in the Bible where it says if we come together in prayer, he hears us, he blesses us. So I want to pray with you with your situation and ask God, I come in agreement with you, whatever that situation is, you know it. If it's a good, healthy situation for you, may it be granted to you in Jesus Christ's mighty name, all right? Lord God, I come to you with the viewer. What I want you to do is I want you to visually focus on your prayer. If it's like food, focus on abundance of food coming in your way. Don't break the focus, all right? This won't be long. Lord Jesus, I come to you, Lord, and I lift up the viewers, and I ask that you please bless them, Lord, whatever it is that they are seeking. You say, seek and you shall find. You say, knock and the door shall be open, Lord. And apparently they've been knocking. Apparently they've been seeking. And you also say, seek you first and the desires of our hearts shall be granted. And that's what I, I, I believe the viewers do in Lord Jesus Christ is they are seeking you first. And so I ask Lord Jesus that you, re, that you release their, their prayers to him, to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your will be done in their life and in my life, Lord. And you will always get the glory and the honor in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right. And then Jesus says, peace I leave with you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. And it's like, oh, it's a sweet of Jesus. Why do you always got to speak in riddles? And you know what? He let me know. He's like, you know how the Bible, everybody's like, oh, I don't understand. It's not for everybody to understand. That's why Jesus always says, ye who have ears, let them hear. You know, ye who have ears, let them hear. Because it's not meant for everybody. It's like, yeah, you're special. It's meant for you, child of God. But it's not meant for everybody. That's why they read it and you get confused, all right? Because Jesus speaks a lot in metaphor, metaphorical. And it's really pretty. So we could, I I could relate for me. I could relate. He was a poetic. He was a poet. When he spoke, he spoke in poetic. And, and a lot of, or poetry. And a lot of people can't decipher poetry. Can they? No. All right, he's letting you know that he is Alpha and Omega. He is the first and the last. He is the beginning and the end, Revelation twenty two thirteen. And no man goes to the Father except through the Son, period. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Um, I just know what it's like. I ain't even worry about all that. But just know there's no other way to the Father except through the Son, all right? And today could be your lucky day, man. You could get your ticket to heaven. You got your ticket to heaven. If you died, do you know where you would go? I know where i go. I'd be going to see him with those sweet old angels. Unless he's like, Shay, you got a multiple. I'd be like, yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care. I'll be a Brad, a Brad Kramer up in heaven. But we ain't going to have none of that. It was just hard to believe out. Um, it was just hard to believe that in our land. You know what I mean? In our, where we are, that... God is so gracious. He's not like man. There's not going to be nobody up there with evil intentions. They're not allowed to come. They don't have evil intentions. It's a whole crew that has your back. And we just, we're going to forget all of this, man. This is our training ground for what is to come. And this is, see, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. So if you've been fearing if you've had fear, because we know it's there, the, uh, the kingdoms, um, yeah, the kingdom knows it's there. That fear is not coming from God, and God is telling you that you're protected. Let me tell you something about God, okay? He is not the author of confusion. Now, he will teach us things, but when your mind starts getting confused, I really recommend, you're like, oh my God, what's going on? Like, like oh my God. I just recommend that you go to the Lord. Um, find preachers that you vibe with. Find on, on YouTube anything. If you don't want to go out, you don't have to go out. But find something, a spiritual connection that you vibe with. That you know is of Christ. All right? And you have to remember, we're not always going to agree on the things. We need to learn how to... Agree to disagree. We're not always going to agree on things. But the main principle is. Do the people. That you want to be a part of. Do they believe. 
that the only way to the Father is through the Son, that you have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior to get to God. And do they believe that there is a hell? Because I have been sent here to tell you there is. See our Michael Candle? He's casting Satan into hell. Jesus hands over the dirty work to Michael. All right? And I can't um, argue with you or nothing on that. I just got to let you know. I can just let you know. And he's saying, come to me. All, ye, all who are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. You know? So, but yeah, you're protected. You got more power in your hands than I think you realize in your life. And a lot of you are letting things oppress you. You're letting things drive you crazy. I'm, I'm just a messenger. I've just been sitting here to tell you. It's your choice to make better choices. Nobody can make you make better choices. All right? It's your choice to make better choices, not just for yourself, but for all humanity. And if you can't do that, then the enemy gets to have you. Okay? That's how that goes. And just be advised, masks are coming off. If you if you choose to ignore the masks coming off, that's your own choice. You think I haven't been there where I haven't wanted to... There's been people all throughout my life. You think I haven't wanted to turn my back on them, Becky? And it's not turning my back on them. I have to be at a different area in, uh, for them to for them so I can grow and I can be what I'm called to be and the ones I love if they if they're interested they will they, they can always see me you know what I mean but it's your choice to ignore the signs or not if you ignore the signs nobody can stop you they get you the enemy gets you all right if you want to be defiant on God you don't want to listen to God and if you don't want to follow him not sorry because that you've been warned multiple times, all right. A lot of you are going uh, are being sent into the hands of the enemy, and the hands of the enemy isn't always what you think. Especially since Jesus hasn't come back right yet, he he's set to come back any moment. But masks are being taken off, and followers are being handed over. Sorry. <clears throat> See, and what did I tell you? That when you ride with King Jesus, you save Becky. It says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. So some of y'all been seeing shadows. The, the heavenlies do not scare you. The other ones that are a little bit frightening, yeah, you're being handed over to the hand of your enemy. That's, you don't want to listen. We can't help you. But you, child of God, oh, we're safe. We're safe. Pray for the others. That's why we need you. We need you to learn to speak up and to get to the other ones because the number is small. That's the sad thing is there's not as many Christians in the world that you really think there is. It's so sad. It's so sad. But um, but yeah, the number isn't as great as everybody thinks it is. One forty four. But, um, yeah, so I encourage you, child of God, um, do what you can on your part to um, be an assistance to the kingdom, all right? You won't regret it, but I'm not going to sit there and say you're going to be blessed for it. Like, that's, that's ridiculous to me because if you don't want to serve Christ just because you don't want to serve Christ, then don't serve Christ. But if you want to serve Christ because you want to serve Christ, all means, serve Christ, please, please. We need you, all right? But we don't keep the mind frame, oh, I'll get something from it. All the masks are falling off. Um, God, there's there's a lot of work going on in the spiritual realm, and a lot of y'all know this. And so the heavenlies, um, yeah, that's not happening no more. All that's being shut down. You cannot enter our kingdom thinking that you're going to get, and you know what I mean? You can't, there's no secrets with God. He knows your heart. And he gives uh, his people a spirit of discernment. So you get figured out really quick. Especially nowadays. But, um. So. Yeah, just, uh, Follow, you know, follow your heart, man. But you gotta be careful. Because your heart is wickedly deceitful above all things. Who can know it? And understand that your ego, man. You don't want to leave an ego. You want to leave a spirit, man. Ego's up here. Spirit, man's here. Yeah, he's handing you 
God's handing you some staffs. It's your choice on what you want to do with those staffs. If you want to do wrong, don't expect to be blessed. Um, expect to be tricked. If um, you have, you know, and we're all, just remember, we're all human. We're all human, all right? I know who I mess with, this, you know, but we're all human, okay? Yeah. Some of y'all are going to be experiencing, or you already are experiencing, tower moment. This is where you're at. Your kingdom is falling, all right? But from this tower moment, some of you, okay, some of you have been warned too many times throughout your life. Your tower moment will not stop. Like, it's going to be bad. But some of you, sincerely, you don't mean no wrong. And the tower moment is a really good opportunity of learning not to freak out. Because why do we want to keep on repeating the same cycles, Becky? We don't. We don't want to keep on repeating the same cycles. So, a lot of you are also going to find strength from the tower moment. So, don't be scared of the tower moment. All right? This is a time of reflecting and learning. And understand that when a tower moment is served, it's because you've been involved with, especially for this situation, it's because you've been involved with something you ought to not have been involved with. And we have to let you, God wants you to see that. He needs you because if you don't see it for your own eyes, you won't stop. And you who find your strength, your tower moment will flip. Now this is a time of blessings for you. Some of you legitly have a good amount of blessings coming in. You have conquered that chat Like that tower has fallen. You have learned from it. You have picked up good from it. And, um, you know, you, you've, uh, what is it? Do the best you can with what, what, what you have, even if it's literally nothing. Some people I know, they don't have, they literally don't have nothing. They might be bothering somebody's phone right now. God bless their friend. But they got more than what they know. But yeah, but this is just saying that congratulations. So there's a part in the Bible that says some will get through. Um, make it through a habit. I gotta find the verse. Almost as escaping a burning, um, a burning building. And then you see how people are being pushed out, They're falling out. Yeah, it's not. Many are gonna be coming before our Lord and Savior and be like, "But Jesus, and I cast out demons in your name. Get, get thee behind me, ye that work iniquity. I know you not. It's because Jesus hands over the." Uh, He's handing over the enemy's people to the enemy, and they're warring against each other, and, and it's a, uh, yeah. How much one was, let's see. Yeah, some of you were sitting pretty high, and you had some, you got the Queen of Chords reverse, coins reverse, so. Some of you were sitting pretty high, and, um, yeah, some of you, I'm, I'm taking from it, you were legitly taking advantage of. God's going to come through. This is a moment of learning for you. You are to learn from this, all right? But there is going to be reunion coming through. You are going to be united with, a, uh, with rewarded with friendship, great friendship, partnership. Maybe a good offer is going to come in through for you. And it's going to be a time of celebration. It's going to be a time of celebration. Because you have learned to stop, like, judging others, wondering. Instead of... Um, you've really focused, been focusing on how to be a better help to people instead of thinking that everybody is after you. you. You've been trying to learn how to look differently with different eyes, and you're going to be blessed for that. You've reversed that. Good for you. All right, I think, let me see if I can pull one more Holy Spirit. Yeah, you got heartache, heart pain. It's being reversed. A lot of year. <clears throat> a lot, a lot. This is a time of healing for a lot of people. And a time of heartbreak for others. Because if 
Um, I don't even want to give all that energy out. All right. You got some of you have been fighting to keep what's up with yours with diligence and strife and doing your absolute best to keep what's up for you and yours and your loved ones. And that's why Jesus loves you is because you understand it that it's for others. It's not just yourself, you know, what you do. And you're going to be, again, you're going to be blessed for that. And then you had uh, this one. Let me see. Some of y'all were celebrating riding high on your horse with pride. Celebrating, looking over everybody, all that. And you abused that authority. That's where that heart came out reversed. There'll be no sleep for the wicked. No rest. All right. And then we got the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, some of us were just sitting here and we're, we're looking to see his, see his face. It's like... <sighs> and it might be really hard right now for you to understand that hit God's hands right there. And he's like, I got you. And you're, but, you're, but we're... We can get so stuck in our um, our now moments and be like, <clears throat> you know, and we have all these things going on in front of us. Like he's got his cups laid out. He's kind of looking away. He's looking towards his cups, but he's looking like, you know. And what what my what I register when I see this card is a gentleman. He reminds me of Jonah under the tree where God was doing all this for Jonah, and he just kept on complaining. And he's like. I want to die. And God's like, no. <laughs> he's like, ugh. But he's looking over with kind of like an attitude. When I register his attitude, it's like, you know, it's like a blah attitude. Like, uh, like there it is. And now what? Now what? All right. Now God wants you, you know, try to see the bigger picture. Try to see what's really going on around you. And that there is goodness around you. And that you have done good work. God is going to bless you for your good heart, for your kind heart, for sticking in when everybody told you not to or whatever your case is, all right? This is a time of great abundance for people, good or bad, you know, good or bad. I'm a child of God, yours is good. But a lot of you have been um, tricked. I ain't going to say no more. I'm not allowed to. y'all have been fooled. You know what I just said? You've been fooled by hidden intentions. That's what happened. The moon represents hidden, okay? There's, of course, there's every card. Out. There's always different, but truthfully, this moon is hiding hidden intentions. You've been fooled by a trickster, all right? And when God's came, God's came in as, in, in as a mighty hand to hand you a crown, you denied him. That's why the card came out reversed, all right? But some of you, some of you didn't. Some of you have been, became stronger in the Lord, have corrected ways, and I'm so proud of you. And Empress, and the Empress is very, she's very fertile. She's pregnant. She's, she has a lot of fruit. Pregnancy don't always have to mean like pregnancy. She's a great mother. She's a great caregiver. A woman of authority, of integrity, of love. And a multitasker and just a beautiful woman. And some of you are going to be getting that while others, everything's reversed. You're going to be getting offers come in, but you're so proud. That, uh, but you really need to consider these offers. Just because something sounds good, baby, don't mean it's good. And a lot of you are too clouded over. And the, the enemy done got you by your mind. So when this offer comes through, you're going to take it. And, the, and we did what we could to help you. But you don't want to help yourself. So you're being handed over to the enemy. I'm sorry. But the ones of you that want to know. See, Ace of Wands. Uh, some of y'all. Uh, y'all really need to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior in this hour. That's what that means. Is that off? Remember, we're just talking about fixing to go into repentance, and that God's hand came out. So keep the head knowledge. All right. When you see the the Ace of Wands, it's like they're 
and how we're just saying an offer was going to be asked of you. This, uh, when the Ace of Wands hand comes from the cloud, when God's hand comes from the cloud with the staff, you have a quick decision to make. All right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Becky? What are you going to do? Are you going to choose to be right or are you going to choose to be bad? What are you going to do? Un Stolando Gassino is to find. So I am feeling like when I first got saved, it was kind of a rush thing for me. And, it, and I had to go home because the lady's husband was like, hold on, you're going to frighten her off. Don't scare her off. And she's like, no, honey, I really feel this woman needs to be saved. Like, right now, <laughs> right now, girl. So I want you to keep the head knowledge. I got the head knowledge. I went home on my own hands and knees. I bent down. I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. That's what happened. So take the head knowledge, all right? Because this is a swift acting thing. You do need to act, and you need to act accordingly, and you need to act quick. That's what's being told to me. So all you have to do is uh, acknowledge that you're a sinner, that Jesus Christ is the only... Uh, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to the Father. No if, ands, and buts, period. All right? If you don't know who Jesus Christ is, necessarily, your spirit man knows. That's why you are drawn to this, okay? And he's asking you to understand that you're a sinner. We are all sinners. We have fallen short to the glory of God. That's why he came. That's why he died for you. That's why he hung on a cross and died a brutal death for you, my friend. All you have to do, if you do not understand his ways, it's okay. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Thank him for dying on the cross for you. Ask him to come into your heart and um, ask him to teach you his ways, okay? And then confess your sins to him. What troubles you, what keeps you up that you have done, that's sin, baby. That's always been sin. Even if it's something you did when you were a little kid and you, you just have such a good heart, that's sin. That's why it's important that you, that you get saved, period. And then find yourself... A good, uh, I, I recommend King James Bible to start off with. And find yourself a good Bible practicing, preaching, fire breathing church. Period. Period. I started off with conservative Baptists. It's not about denomination. It's about if the, if the, uh, if the word of Christ is being preached. Un Casino es fine. As long, as long as you know that, um, whatever denomination, the only thing they need to be preaching, though, is that there is only one way through to the Father, and that's through the Son. We don't need, you. Uh, do not go to a church that wants to make you comfortable, so they allow you to be, uh, you are to come as you are, but I don't know how to explain it. Just know there's only one way through the Father, and that's Jesus. So when you seek out a church, just make sure, ask them. How do we get to heaven? What do you believe on how we get to heaven? They should tell you that Jesus Christ is how you get to heaven. Period. If they don't, I keep church searching. Praying and searching.